All right guys, so we're starting on the wiring harness conversion from the V10 to the Cummins. This is the main connector. Um, so what we're gonna start with is just removing all the, the injectors, the ignition coils, and the oxygen sensors. So let's start with that, and then we'll go on to the next of the wiring. all disassembled now so we got our crank sensor we have our oil pressure then we have our coolant temp I still have the cam sensor in it for right now just in case we need that for a signal all right next step is to get this Cummins engine wiring harness apart <laughs> guys so we got the whole harness cleaned up next thing to do will be to splice these my wires into this connector I'll cut this end off and we'll put the excursion in harness on this I think there are six wires that we will have to send power to and then we'll have to figure out the ground for this side diagram how we going to show you guys how we wired it up so we started off I found a fuse block just out of a random truck and I put our main power this is gonna be our main power fuse this 30 30 amp fuse we got here it's gonna power this next relay and then we have our relay coming out and it's gonna go into our factory wiring harness what you need on your factory wiring harness there's a couple wires so to start with we went ahead and just labeled everything so we would know which where each one of them goes so we have this is terminal 30 of the relay the next one we have is terminal 86 which would be the ground then we have 87 a is which is our red and white wire of the main factory harness the ground wire is a brown and white wire of the factory harness. Relay number 30 is a red and green wire of the harness. Our 12 volt run and start wire is a green and black wire. I got that going into our factory connector and that's gonna be 12 volts hot and run. 
Then I went ahead and wired in an OBD2 connector so we can check codes if we have any type of problems. So with that, what you'll need is you'll need a 12 volts in hot and run, which we found that. That wire ended up being um, terminal number nine. I believe that was a oxygen sensor power. Then we have our ground, which we just ran up into a terminal right here. This is also the ground wire that goes for the engine harness. And then we just have our communication data lines, which is a green wire and then a pink and blue wire. So the next step of the process is gonna to be to wrap the whole wiring harness up, disassemble the wiring harness, get any other bad wire, uh, tape off, retape it, and then test fit it into the truck. On the next episode, guys, we will be installing the wiring harness and also wiring up our coolant temp sensor and our crank sensor with the rest of the factory Ford harness. Catch you next time.